Hello and welcome to the Science Ferry. In this video I want to show how I built my DIY Geiger Hunter. It ended up being a bit bigger because I had to buy a counter circuit from China. The first part is to create the high voltage for the Geiger tube. It consists of an NE555 timer creating a 20 kHz square wave with a 1 kilo ohm resistor, a 33 kilo ohm resistor and a 1 nanofarad capacitor. It should be 20 kHz or higher to not make annoying noises. The 20 kHz square wave from the NE555 goes to a MOSFET and an inductor. By switching the inductor on and off rapidly we are creating a high voltage on the drain of the transistor. That means the MOSFET must be rated for the voltage we are producing. In my case it's around 400 volts. For that I'm using an ERF820 MOSFET transistor. To make the voltage usable it goes over a diode to charge a capacitor. For the diode I'm using a 1N4007 and for the capacitor anything with a couple nanofarads can be used. In front of the tube is a resistor. In my case it's 1 mega ohm, but it's different for every Geiger tube. Then it's going through the Geiger tube and on the other side is the detector circuit. The detector circuit consists of a 2N3904 transistor, but I had to add two more BC547 transistors to activate the buzzer and the LED and to have a good signal output. To count the signals I initially want to use the CD4026 counter IC. However on a prototype PCB it's a complete wire mess and it ended up not working because the ICs are pretty fragile to static discharge. My plan B was to buy a counter circuit from China. However this had the problem that the pulse duration was too short for the counter. To get around this problem I used an NE555 pulse extender. It's another easy NE555 circuit, also known as NE555 monostable. I used an online calculator to make the output pulse duration long enough to be detectable for the counter circuit. I'm powering the Geiger counter from a 9V battery, but it's using 40mA so I'm thinking about powering it from something else. If you liked this video give it a thumbs up or subscribe for more science projects. Until next time.